Welcome back to Black Guys Reviews. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series from the Ahsoka Show on Disney+. Plus. This is Shin Hadi. Shin has definitely become a very interesting character on the Ahsoka Show. It's going to be very interesting to see when they start doing any additional seasons, the development of the character. There's theories out there that she may even become a new apprentice for Ahsoka. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But until then, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging for all you package collectors. And here's the front of the packaging. Looks pretty cool. There's the back of the packaging. I do love the artwork on these on this wave. It looks pretty sweet with all the offerings. I love that like a grayish color with the blue at the bottom. Pretty cool. And there's the other side of the packaging. Top of the box. Bottom of the box. And there's UBC that helps you guys find these. I found the Wave at Walmart for $26.90. $24.96 each, I should say. Um, so if you can use the UBC to help track this down for you guys, there you go. And with that being said, let's take a look at this figure. So here she is outside the packaging. She looks pretty cool, which you probably pretty much would have expected to see for you know this offering. Um, so let's start taking a look at the sculpt and the aesthetics. So, her face sculpt is pretty good. Uh, she looks cool. I think she kind of looks like the actress. Um, her hair definitely came out pretty good. That blonde hair. I guess she has a braid there for that apprentice. Nice looking uh, sculpting. I like the color they use. It's pretty good. Nice looking blonde. All the eyes are uh, done very nicely. She's having an expression on her face. Pretty stern. So for outfit, she has like a like tan, um, some type of clothing type armor because it looks like there's type of layers there to protect her from any you know, kind incoming damage from her opponents. Um, she has some shoulder pads. She has some like almost silverish worn uh, metal plate there underneath her shoulder pad. She has a gauntlet, the same overall aesthetic. Some type of little communication device or a computer there on her arm. A plate over top of her black gloves. So she might have a black undershirt underneath of her uh, armor or vest. Pretty much the same mistake for this arm. She has these dual communications slash computers on her arms. Um, look about the same. The back looks like this where the, uh, the vest is connected. Decent sculpt work there. A black belt. The kind of, uh, no. These are attached to the belt. No, actually, this is actually connected to this vest piece. Let's get her arms up out of the way here. So she has different layers of these uh, waist skirt. She has this pretty cool looking green. You can see how nice that is. And there's like a worn patch piece right there. Maybe some wear or damage. Her brown, like tannish uh, piece here. It's a two piece part. Doesn't seem to separate very easy like uh, the other ones did. Like Balin had a really nice range. Her not too much. Underneath here she kind of has like black pants. There's some knee pads there. Then she has a shin guards here wrapped around these wraps around her shin from her knee to her ankle. There's some straps there. And they did paint them different colors to make them, make them pop. Then she has black footwear. Overall, not a bad looking figure. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and start taking a look at the articulation. So for her head, it does rotate 360. She can look somewhat up, not very much. I mean, that's stationary, but right there, a little up. She can look down, side to side. Arms are on a ball joint to do rotate 360. It's gonna be interesting to see how these are attached. Like Balin had this poor design. I bet you it's very similar. Uh, see, I kind of escaped the uh, the pad there for some reason. So I'm guessing that's underneath that arm again. This one I can't get the raise. I'm going to have to heat it. So she does have the butterfly joints. I think these are connected inside that joint again on the arm. Bicep swivel, 90 degree elbow. Actually... You get a better range on a 90 degree elbow. I mean, you've got that single joint. You do get better than 90, just over 90. 
So that's pretty good. It's a deeper cut for her at least. Yeah, on both arms. The hands rotate 360. This one goes up and down like this. So does that one. Don't see any articulation in like the ab or the stomach region, just the butterfly joints. There's a rotation here. And I don't want to force that. You hear that creaking. I don't want to do that. Um, like I said, this is very hard to even get anywhere near to see what's up inside there. About that far in the split. You're not going to get much on the sitting because of how stiff this is. This is where soft goods should be included. Instead, this is old. We need to start getting better figures. Better options. Single jointed knee, which is probably about 90 degrees. A little over 90. That's like our elbows. There's a swivel there to knee 360. The feet do pivot down, up, and around the ankle for that overall rocker appearance. So, pretty cool. Uh, what we're expecting of, of, of Shin because of all the other figures in this wave just pretty much have standard articulation. We should be at the double joint knees and we should be at the double joint elbows. And some thigh cuts. And I don't think, I can't really tell. Don't want to like, get any stress marks on my plastic. I don't think there's any thigh rotation there either. So, there she is. And she looks cool for what it's worth. Um, let's go ahead and look, take a look at her lightsaber. Because she has a red lightsaber with this gunmetal handle. And then she has that same kind of clip that Balin has. Kind of like hooks on maybe somewhere on her. Let's hope and see. I didn't see it when we was going over. But um, you can see that the handle is a very soft rubber. The lightsaber is a stiffer plastic. So... And then this does spin, so it tells me that this comes out. Now, Balin and her have this snapping lightsaber thing. It almost feels like it doesn't come out. It got me on Balin. But then she has like this rib around here to keep some of the snaps in. Um, is there a place? Yes, right here. She has this little hook right there by her belt. And oh, that, one, that was quite easy. Balin's hook on his belt is so soft it's just like when you try to put the lightsaber hand on it just you know they just mash together she has a firmer piece of plastic there that they should have used the same for Balin but that's how you can store that on her uh, on her waist there so it worked out pretty good it seems to stay yep so she's definitely an improvement on her master's version um, let's see if she can hold her lightsaber. The hand tolerances are pretty good. They're not so stiff you can't move the fingers, but they're not too soft to where she's just going to drop everything. So, and that's how she looks with just a lightsaber in her hand. She holds up pretty good. So let's understand why they still get these figures, figures, finger, figures. Trigger fingers. Man, is that a tongue twister? Um, because they don't have blasters. I mean, you can give her a blaster if you want, but like, should have a nice lightsaber grip. Wow, that's where it goes in her pretty stuff. So you can see how close she can hold that lightsaber to her person. If you wanted to get an idea, kind of like that close um, without pushing on it here. Pretty cool. She can hold it decently. Um, it's a little bit of play in it. Overall, I mean, maybe just her joint moving there. But uh, yeah. So there she is, and let's take a look at her with her master Balin scroll. One thing I'll say about her: you're probably gonna need a figure stand because she doesn't like to stand very easy. She's definitely uh, likes to fall backwards, but just something to note. So here is Shinhani with Balin Scroll, her master. First thing I noticed, like, they're almost the same height. I thought that Shin was shorter than Balin. She was more a, on the size of, like, Ventress. But the figures don't come out that way. They came across as a same height. And that just kind of is off-putting to me. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments about the, the height on these guys. 
if you think that's off or if that's correct or not. But they look good together nonetheless. I mean, something right out of the cartoon. Um, she's pretty cool. And I think she was a, just a little bit shorter to give her that apprentice uh, feel. You know, a younger uh, female character. Go ahead and bring in uh, Star Killer just for an additional um, comparison. Because he, he came in the wave with these figures. And just give you an idea how she stands against other male characters. And she's pretty much the same height as Star Killer. Well, there you have it, guys. There's Shin Hadi, the new uh, action figure from the Black Series. Uh, this is my first score for 2024. Let me know what you think. think about these figures. Are you trying to pick them up? Are they a pass for you? And there's her, her stability right there. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. And I'll see you in the next review.